<clears throat> All right, so we're gonna do a quick little history on these guys. So, this phone is the iPhone 4S. It came out in 2011. It had brand new features like Siri and better antenna, so you won't have antenna gate like the last one, the iPhone 4. This is the iPhone 5. It came out in 2012, and the iPhone 5 is a little special because it made it more slim. Let me pick it up. You can see right here. Compared to this chunkster. When we go to the SE, this is basically the iPhone 6, which I don't have yet. Uh, it's shrunken down with the A9 processor, Touch ID, first generation, but still work. This is the iPhone 10 that killed the Jack. A10 Fusion. And then 2017 arrived with two new iPhones as always. We got the 8 and 8 Plus, which brought glass back wireless charging. A11 Bionic. Same year. This one is still today the most expensive iPhone in the world. Well, at the time. A thousand dollars for this guy. $9.99. Then we went to the so this is like just like the iPhone 10 and 10s. It doesn't show anything, but we're gonna keep it like this because I don't have the 10. And I'm not even gonna buy one. So let's go to 2018 with the 10s and 10r. The 10r was actually around 700 something dollars at the time. You can see it's kind of the budget kind of iPhone. You got that single camera. You got an LCD display. And then the iPhone 11 took this phone. This phone became this phone, added on ultra wide. It brought the Apple logo in the middle center. And then in 2020, we got the iPhone 12, which had another feature that iPhones didn't have, which now becoming popular. That antenna right there is your 5G antenna. It kept the same 12 and 12 wide and ultra wide camera, and it brought down the flat edge again. That's the history of my f iPhones I owned. Actually, f not all are mine, but yeah. Hope you like it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.